Today I have some great ideas for gifts that you can give the loved ones in your family this holiday season or anytime. Maybe you have a birthday or an anniversary coming up at the beginning of the year. I have pulled together some of my favorite ideas and gifts for people. These are not expensive things, but they are things that aren't necessarily generic. They're things that maybe the people in your life would appreciate and definitely would use. I am all about giving somebody something that they are going to use. Not that they're going to sit down and it's going to collect us. They're going to put it at the back of their closet. So let's check out what I have all around me on today's gift guide. Now, if you are new here, I am more of a frugal, minimalist type of a person. I don't like a lot of clutter, a lot of waste. I like things that are meaningful and that will get used. So that is what I thought about when I came up with these ideas or pulled them together collectively. Now, I also talked about about a month ago doing a DIY Christmas gift video. Well, that didn't go as originally planned. I did it or I started it and it didn't work out. With the DIY thing, I was very limited about what I chose because it appears nowadays to try to make something handmade, it costs more to get the materials to do it than just buying it outright. Um, so what I wanted to focus on was things that wouldn't take a lot of time, you know, crocheting a blanket, which is an amazing gift to give if you have that talent and the time to do it, but things that would be quick and easy that are kind of DIY that maybe you could add something to for a little flair. So I'm going to include those things in this video. And if you like a good gift guide that has actual useful items that aren't outrageously expensive, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Now everything that I can in this video, I will have linked down below if you want to check it out for yourself. And you know, some of these things don't have to be gifts for others. If you want to indulge yourself, feel free to do so. Always remember though, to do this all within budget. One of my favorite things to give and get are calming things such as bath bombs, shower steamers, uh, lotions, scented things. I am obsessed with lavender and my daughter has now become obsessed too. This is a very easy way to go and you can find some nice natural products even online. I'll link some of the bath bombs that I found on Amazon that I actually have coming to check out and see how they are. I also have, I've already been to, I've completed all of my Christmas shopping but I love this store called Lush and we have one in this area. They're not that expensive or sorry, they are more expensive, but they are great. They fight, they are fighting animal testing. They are fresh cosmetics, ethical, uh, buying hundred percent vegetarian handmade. And so they're very natural. I feel comfortable giving them to my daughter. So I've already gotten her some of these for her for Christmas stocking. So this is one and these are great. You just run them out of the water and they create the bubbles and they add the color to the bathtub and the smell, oh my gosh, the smell of these things. This is a little uh, princess Cinderella castle. How sweet is that? Now <laughs> to keep these things from smelling up my entire bathroom because they would, I have to put them in a Ziploc bag until I give them to her on Christmas. Um, I got another one here and this one's just more of a calming one. Um, and it's got stars and moons. Oh, this one's nice. Hopefully I didn't get that on my nose. Probably did. But they just smell so good. Now, if you have a Lush store, you can also order online. They have handmade lotions, face creams, things for men, women, babies, you know, kids, adults, anybody of all ages. And these things come packaged so beautifully. It is just one of my favorite stores. Yes, it is a little bit more expensive, but I like quality. And that is one of those things that is definitely going to be used. One of their homemade lotions or those bath bombs are going to get used and they're going to relax and help remove stress, which around this time of the year, not taking into fact what's currently going on in the world the last two years, we, we really need to decompress and, and come back in to ourselves. So another great gift idea is to do this super sweet little bedroom slipper self care, take care of me idea. So this is one of the DIY things that I did. And this entire gift costs less than $20. Um, I found everything. Yeah, pretty much everything except for the chocolate at, uh, I think it was TJ Maxx, but you can go to your TJ Maxx, your Marshalls, your home goods. Um, these are a pair of Laura Ashley spa slippers. You obviously need to know 
the shoe size of the person that you're buying for. Um, and I found a sweet uh, Coco Magic Coconut Rose Heel and Foot Cream, um, a beautiful OPI nail polish, and obviously some chocolates. And I just took a beautiful ribbon and wrapped it around. This is a great gift for anybody. This can go from the youngest of teenagers to your grandmother. Um, I think pretty much anybody would love to receive this and give their little tootsies a little bit of love. Speaking of tootsies, a good pair of cozy socks. I had been looking for some cozy socks and everybody, well, a lot of people have heard of Barefoot Dreams um, and they're $15 per pair. Well, I found this Amazon Basics and it's a set of four socks, cozy socks. I wish you guys could feel these. They come in different designs and they actually have the little pads, the non-slip pads down here. So if you know somebody who is pregnant, um, you do have to wear when you're in labor and walking around or even afterwards, even if you've had a C-section, you have to wear either their very uncomfortable hospital socks with the little pads on them or bedroom shoes. Um, so these would be a great gift for the expectant mom as well. But include these with, you know, a candle, something else. It doesn't have to be just the sock, but this is an awesome stocking stuffer. So the Amazon Essentials brand, I am, I was so excited to get this video going so that I could put these in the wash and start wearing them. I can't stop, I can't stop rubbing them. They're just so soft. Yeah. We're going to continue with the comfort theme, a nice blanket. Now, let me tell you about my favorite blankets. They're from Nordstrom. They're my favorite blankets. I have gotten pretty much everybody in my life one of these blankets. I've had them embroidered with their names on them in some cases uh, when there was a local shop that did it. Um, but a lot of people have gone out of business for that kind of stuff, understandably. Um, but a nice blanket, oh my gosh, this blanket from Nordstrom is, I think it's under $40 and I will have uh, everything that I can link down below and I'll tell you the prices of things as I go. I'll have to tell you, go back and tell you the cost of those socks. But this blanket, it is just, it's just the best and it's less than $40. So these socks, I just looked it up, $12.60. This is a deal. They feel exactly like or very similar to the Barefoot Dream socks. I don't know. I, I, they had pretty good reviews. So I'm excited to wash and wear, but four pair for what? What? $12.60. Now, as always, prices on Amazon, Amazon change daily, so you never know, but it should probably be very similar to that price. Now, in this category of just spa, luxury, try to shop locally. Try to shop where you can maybe go on Etsy and find something handmade. Maybe it's a room spray or a beautiful essential oil blend into a lotion, or it is a shower steamer or one of those bath bombs. That's why I like the store Lush because it's local. I can go to it, but you can also order online from it. And it's just a good brand from what the information I have. But buying local with anything, if you can, is a great way to go. Obviously with Amazon, not always, but we are always able to get out and get the things that we may or may not want. Well, obviously the things we may not want that we may want when we have an intention to do so. so Still, Amazon comes in in a pinch when you need it. One of my favorite things to give to is a Yeti or just an insulated, uh, reusable drink. So whether it's coffee, whether it's um, one of the water bottles, I'm gonna show you a few options. Yeti just came out with this new color called Sandstone Pink, and I have all the pinks. I have uh, the Pink Flamingo, I'll show you. I have another pink that's you can't get it's it's way gone it's like a pepto pink but this is the most beautiful um what do you call it sandstone pink and it comes with the little thing you don't have to use this but this is a great coffee mug for the tea lover or the coffee lover in your life they also have this beautiful red color you know colors galore i think they have this an orange color too right now um but i also have this is what I'm currently drinking out of this morning. It's my Yeti, I've shown it plenty of times. I don't drink coffee. Those may or may not be gifts down there, um, but I do love the getting the lid with the straw. I have, we have three of them, one, one green, this one, and I have a larger of the pink. And then this is the, I talked about getting the, um, a reusable water bottle. I ended up just going with the Yeti and I got this, the magnetic, 
uh, cap, which I love. You have to buy this separately because it comes with just a regular bottle. But this is the Rambler. The one I just showed you is the Tumbler. And these are not that expensive. Um, you can get some of them for, I think, $30, which for the fact that they're reusable and they last forever, that one down there I've had for at least seven or eight years is just great. And this is the one I'm drinking out of today uh, for my water, my teas, and that one. Um, but you cannot go wrong with a good Yeti, and that's inclusive of you. This is the products. I mean, I, I have their um, cooler, which I take every single day. It comes with me for, for carries my lunch and anything else I'm gonna eat all day long because it keeps me from buying and going out. Um, but it's just a good brand. You can find it on Amazon, but Yeti also, um, fairly sure has free shipping too. Uh, but you would get it quicker if you went through Amazon because if you have Prime, I will link some of my favorites right down below. Now I am going to talk about a recent favorite. I heard about this somewhere and it is called the Nod Pod. Now this is a Nod Pod and I will, if you can't see this, I'll try to pop up uh, a picture. But I have for probably, I don't know, 20 years, slept with a blanket or a sweatshirt or something over my eyes and over my head. It keeps me warm at night. The heat doesn't come out of my head. But I also just like the pressure and the feeling of something over my eyes. I am not a good sleeper. It is what helps me. So I found this. It's called the Nod Pod. Legitimately, you put it over your face like this, right? And if you're a side sleeper, it's cool. You can still do that. You use the two pods over here. You do this and you have them over here. But what it is, is a weighted blanket for your eyes. I just thought this would make the most perfect gift for maybe you know somebody who is a first responder or works at night and they need to sleep during the day. Um, this can turn into, it will go through itself, so you want to make it into kind of a sleep mask. Uh, you pull it through here, there's a little thing, and then you can, you know, secure it more. But it's not going to give, like, sleep mask bother me because they give that indention around your head, but this doesn't do that. And it comes in this beautiful little box. Uh, with the funniest little um, thing here, it says, before we sleep together. How funny is that? And then on the inside it says, I'm flexible. So people who suffer from headaches seem to like me out of the freezer. I stay soft and flexible. So yeah, put this in the freezer if you get migraines. My perfect weight. I may feel a little light in your hands, but I promise I'm the perfect weight for your eyes. When I first got it, I thought, well, that's not going to... That's not gonna help, but when you do put it on your eyes, I think it says it in here, um, it, it puts the, like almost like acupuncture pressure, the right amount of pressure. Um, it says, I have two sides, I aim to please. One side is a cool Jersey cotton, the other side is a warm micro fleece. I like to put the micro fleece. It is so soft, and I've already washed this. You can wash it, that's the fun thing. Please do not put me in the microwave, so you can't warm it up in the microwave, um, because the things inside melt, but I don't, if it's warm enough, I don't think you need to. Before you use me, before you use me, wash me on delicate, then let me air dry. A few tumbles in the dryer, the fewer tumbles in the dryer, the better, I'll last longer. So it says that it prefers not to be tied down. My job is to help you sleep and relax. So it's, it slip, if it slips off, it's fine. You just put it back. It helps you get to sleep. Um, it says, lay me across your eyes. And after about three minutes, you should start feeling the deep touch pressure magic sink in i I'm, I'm loving it if you um also if you you know own a massage business or a healing business or any business where you've got people or even maybe a facial you know while they're uh there's nothing on their eyes and maybe you're you know giving them a massage on their head this thing my new favorite thing and it is currently on amazon 38 dollars may seem a little bit more than some people but I don't think it's that expensive for what it is and how great it is and would make the cutest little present. Now, I also want to link down below some items for I think would be a great kind of put it together gift for somebody. If you know somebody who's stressed out or just likes needs to relax or you think they might, getting them an adult coloring book 
Thomas Kincaid has made these like Disney ones that are just adorable. I want to get one. I had yet to order one. Maybe getting them one of these coloring books, adult coloring books, and a set of beautiful color pencils or gel pens and include it with a bottle of wine. How amazing a night to relax by themselves with a bottle of wine and just getting lost in coloring. I know that having my daughter and being able to sit down and color with her Gosh, it brought back how relaxing it actually is. So I think putting these together in a bundle would be an awesome thing for a gift for somebody. So I wanna talk about a couple of books that I think are great. And one of them I just picked up yesterday. Um, I want to say that I am not the biggest fan of giving books as gifts usually because I don't like clutter. I don't like waste. Um, books are very personal, whether somebody reads fiction, nonfiction, what it is that they want to read. We're all different um, unless you know them, you know, very, very intimately as far as what they're into. Um, but this book in particular, I was at the library for a few hours yesterday and it's new and it's called The Comfort Book by Matt Haig. And this, when I picked it up, it, I was drawn to it. And when I picked it up and read what it was, what was in it, it was perfect. This is not a book you need to sit down for hours and read. This is a book you're gonna leave by your bedside or by your reading nook. And you're gonna read maybe a, one or two pages a day. And find something in what you're reading that's going to resonate with you. Let me read you what it, what it says it is. It says, this is the comfort book. It is a collection of little parcels of hope, gathering notes, proverbs, and stories. It gives us, gifts us with new ways of seeing ourselves, the world and ourselves in the world. This book, this is the book to pick up when you need the wisdom of a friend, the comfort of a hug, or the consolation of knowing that uh, the messy miracle, knowing the messy miracle that is being alive. And it's just, there's, there's a page or two you know, different stories throughout. There's, you know, the longest one may be two pages. Some of them are poems. Some of them are, um, you know, just, just things to kind of open your mind and enlighten you. Like, for instance, life is not a ladder to climb, a puzzle to solve, a key to find, a destination to reach, a problem to fix. Life is a reality to be experienced. Um, and it's got these little just nuggets of, of, truth you know there's such truth in them um throughout the entire book i'll read one more rain you don't have to be positive you don't have to feel guilty about fear or sadness or anger you don't stop the rain by telling it to stop sometimes it just you just have to let it pour let it soak into your skin it never rains forever and know that however wet you are you are not the rain you are not the bad feelings in your head you are the person experiencing the storm the storm may knock you off your feet, but you will stand again. Hold on. So anybody from a teenager to, again, your grandmother, this book will resonate and just, I, I'm, I'm just so excited to go through it and read it further. Um, but you can obviously pick it up at the library if you just want to read it yourself. But I will try to find it as well and link it down below if you want to give this as a gift. Now, another one that I found this year was called Jesus Calling, Enjoying in His Presence, the Note Taking Edition. This is just a beautiful gift. It is this faux leather book, um, thick. And again, I don't like to have to, unless I'm reading a story or something, if I'm reading nonfiction or something that's very, like that previous book or this, and you're reading a page or two, I like to let it digest because you learn better that way. And this is just 365 days. So each day you read it and you read the, the scriptures and kind of the discussion. And I'm, let me tell you, some of these days that I have picked this up, it has been the exact thing that I needed to hear. And it's not difficult to understand. You don't have to be deeply religious or Christian to understand it, to find it uh, beneficial, to find the peace in it, to find the word in it. It's not overly like that, if that makes sense. Um, but then you just make, you can make notes, which is what I've done. And then you can go back the next year. And how amazing would it be to go back on that same day next year and see what you were thinking, how that passage resonated with you. But this is an amazing book.
Now, if you just don't know what to get somebody and you want to get them a gift card, or maybe that's just what they've asked for, whether it's to an online store, a restaurant, whatever that may be, I found this on Amazon and thought this is the perfect way to give a gift card, especially for somebody younger. Um, this is one of those, the ball is in it, you can hear it, it's a maze. So you put the gift card in it and in order for them, I'm not gonna take it out of here because they might mess up the whole thing, but in, for, in order for them to get the gift card out and be able to use it, they have to get the ball through the maze. You remember these from you know younger being at like a, I don't know, a Halloween, um, October festival and getting one of those little those little puzzles with the ball in it you got to get to the maze or the little pinball kind of machines I think this is just the perfect little thing to be able to add a little bit of flavor to the gift card and then all you need to do you can go to the Dollar Tree I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday and picked up several little boxes for gifts um, they make great boxes put it in here wrap it up and it'll feel like an actual gift that you're giving so one of the DIY gifts that I did was this cute little rum and coke or jack and coke. I think this is the perfect little thing to give along with a gift card. Let's say, or to uh, tickets to a sporting event, something larger. Of course, this can be a gift in one, the gift one and done, but you could give this with some sports tickets or with a gift card to, I don't know, a sports store. Um, and I think this would be so much fun I simply went to Hobby Lobby. I found this uh, mason jar mug, um, these straws, went to the liquor store, got an airplane bottle. This one is Captain Morgan. You can get rum, you can get, uh, what else do they put? Rum and Coke, Jack and Coke, you can get Jack Daniels. And then you just put your little, the little mini bottle of Coke inside of here. How sweet is this? Include this with a card, with the tickets or with the gift card. It'll make somebody's day. So along that same token about giving a gift card or giving something fun, how sweet is this? If you have the person on your list that loves, you know, a six pack of good beer, this is a fun thing to do. Or root beer in this case. I picked this root beer up from Aldi. Um, and also that uh, Jack and Coke thing costs less than six bucks for everything. So very well worth it. This in particular, the entire thing, cost I think less than five dollars so all you do is you take the uh, bottle turn it around get some google eyes get a red nose hot glue gun a little bit of ribbon this is simple pipe cleaners you twist the one pipe cleaner around here you cut little pieces and just twist them up here and you have a sweet gift that would be so much fun to go along with maybe a restaurant gift card to um, you know a brewery brewery if I can say that or a brewery tour in your area if it is beer that would be a fun way to gift it or just gift this on on its own if you've got somebody special maybe in your office that you want to do something for now if you are familiar with my channel you know I love grandma things <laughs> I just do I love that time frame I love looking back and learning lessons from it so I found these DIY embroidery kit patterns I had one of these as a child um, and it was the, so much fun I'll have to pop up pictures here of what they actually are but essentially it's so simple it's, you know, the needle and thread embroidery with the loom thing. So, you know, somebody young, this one is actually right here. You can see the picture of what it looks like. It's a floral one, whether it's a teenager or, you know, just somebody, maybe even in, you have a grandparent in a nursing home. This would bring back such memories if they did do this back in the day. These were super expensive. I believe one was nine and $12 again, prices could change on Amazon, but you could take this and turn it into a pillowcase or turn, put it in framed art. This one is gorgeous. It's a beach scene. Again, I'll pop it up here. Um, but so much fun, especially if you do have a younger person in your life um, and has a grandparent that you know knows how to do needlework and embroidery and can help them experience it. This is a great gift. Um, just maybe an extra gift on the side or just a great gift on its own. I just thought these were so much fun and a good gift idea. So I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe got some fun ideas on some fun new things. I am going to have fun cleaning all of this up and putting it back where it needs to go. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's free. All you have to do is click on that little subscribe button. 
That's all it does. It really helps me out. I appreciate you being here and I wish you happy holidays.